We supposed to be family, so why is things out of order? I'm starting to realize that blood ain't thicker than water. I thought we supposed to be there for one another. Now this is the reason why niggas can't hustle together. We supposed to be family, so why is things out of order? I'm starting to realize that blood ain't thicker than water. I thought we supposed to be there for one another. Now this is the reason why niggas can't hustle together. All through my life and through my days. I'm Trying to get rich. I came to the realization that family don't mean shit. We can't even hustle together. We all trying to make cheddar. But one greedy nigga out the crew always trying to be better. And always wanting more money. You ignorant fucking dummy. We came from the same hood. All of us used to be dummy. And now you acting so fun. They got official when phone. Us cousins used to be home. And now you about to be lonely. Trying to count what's in my pocket. Why you trying to balance my bread? Back to the basement like I stole something. I'm always here in the basement. I ain't gonna keep y'all long, I ain't gonna keep y'all long. Got a few little jokes, how you laughing in your seat. Hope you don't piss on yourself. <laughs> but every man got a fear in here, and I don't care if you strong as hell in this bitch, every man got a fear. My fear is, if I'm at the club, I gotta start off a fight with my least dominant hand, my left hand. I feel as though I only been in one fight in my life. You know, we're gonna keep this between us. I'm a bitch ass nigga. I don't fight. I don't. Shit. I got a one fight, one that bitch. I'm one and no. I'm undefeated. I'm Roy Jones. I'm all. Oh no, Roy Jones got his ass beat. I'm Floyd Mayweather. I ain't losing my title for shit. So, so what a nigga do is I practice my left hand swing. It's not as good as my right, cause it gotta come as a combo. It goes right, left, right, left. But just in case I'm holding my drink in the club, I learned from my mama. She is the best backhand artist around. I learned my backhand. You gotta step into a backhand. That's another nigga fear. I don't give a fuck. None of you real niggas. If you ever been back ten, that's a disrespectful hit. Because niggas, the back of their hands like, bitch, shut up. Like, damn. And then don't get spit on afterwards. Don't fall like, bitch, shut up. It's disrespectful as fuck. I've been learning my fucking backhand. You gotta step into the shit. You gotta like, what the fuck? You gotta scare him a little bit and shit. Like, bitch. But I hate to get my ass whooped, though. I'm undefeated. Fuck that. I ain't losing my title. So anybody tonight that wanna whoop my ass, I'm running to my car. I'm telling y'all, I'm a bitch ass nigga. <laughs> I'm letting y'all know right now, shit. Nigga, one thing about having a small car. I don't know what y'all driving out there. I drive a 96 Grand Air, small car. Ladies, I feel y'all because with a small car, I be trying, <laughs> this is kind of homo, but niggas try to holler at me all the fucking time because I got a small ass car. I understand why y'all don't want to holler at me at the light. You know how I pull up? What's up, man? I understand now because I be at the light I be doing my tunes and shit, and it's the same ride. Every nigga know the ride up when you see the chick. You ride up slow as hell, like, yeah, this bitch gonna see me in my fucking ride, nigga. And then you do the long lean in to see if a nigga lean back in the motherfucker. So they lean up, they come in like, oh, shit. Man, I hate my motherfucking car, I hate it. I just wanna put 22s on that little motherfucker and make it a doom buggy. Fuck this shit. Small car is a downfall for a nigga. And I'm short, so it really bad. Like, he in a small car, he's short. That shit is all bad. That shit is, it is not a good mixture. It's like tall people. Well, oh, shit, tall people can be whatever the fuck they want. They tall, shit. They can be in a little sports car. Tall niggas get respect. That's why I'm gonna wear platforms and shit. Get my height up. <laughs> fuck this. Oh. <laughs> Man, you ever been doing some shit at the wrong time? Yeah, yeah. Look, let me tell you something. Real, real story here. True story. So many, so many people don't get up here and tell true story. I'm true story. How many niggas pick their nose? Just uh, go in that motherfucker, get whatever you gonna get out that motherfucker, pick it up. Some people, some people here might use some Kleenex. They go in there with the motherfucking Kleenex and then pull it out. Some people just blow their fucking nose. Just <laughs> fuck it, blow their nose. I wasn't taught to blow my nose, and I ain't gonna pick my shit. I blow it with the thumb, just, if it's a booger, <laughs> a book. it's, I don't do it. Okay, I'm a nasty nigga, but that's how I do it. If I'm outside, the booger fuck with me, 
time. It's gone. Shit, I don't have to wipe my nose at the word. The booger on the sidewalk. I keep moving. <laughs> but wrong place, wrong time. I'm having sex. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm getting it good. I'm just I'm into this shit. And you know how you be in some good pussy? You just get close your mouth and just breathe in your nose. <laughs> But you feel that motherfucking booger in your right nostril. It's just, it's fucking up the breathing technique. You fucking suffocating. Pussy good, can't breathe right. Fuck it. I wasn't taught to pick my nose or blow that motherfucker, so, oh yeah, fuck it. But I look at her face at the worst. She just, uh, 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 uh. I don't think I'm killing this shit. Like, yeah, bitch, look at that sticky face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, then her foot get to shaking and shit like she coming. I'm like, yeah, yeah. And I, as I open my eyes and talk to shit, she pointing and shit. <laughs> Big ass booger on her fucking foot. True story. I ain't willing to True story. Hopefully when I put this on Facebook, my ex see that shit. That was one funny moment in my life. Look, I'm going to leave y'all with this. If y'all come every week, I always tell everybody shit. I work at a fucking school. That's what I do. Shit. I went from working in the office to cleaning toilets. I mean, there's many job opportunities in the school. Get your resume together. I can't get y'all in. I got no pool. Only thing I pull is trash cans, but <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> but it's a class when you work at a school called, if someone calls and say it's a bomb in the building, what do you do? They tell you. It's three steps. Step number one, when you get the call, don't act nervous. Just take all the information the person telling you on the phone, write it down on a piece of paper, slide it to somebody. Rule number two, do not look out no windows. Don't act like you know it's a nigga across the street because he said he across the street with a bomb. Just, just act like you're normal. And rule number three, do not alarm anybody. Don't go around like there's a bomb in the building. Niggas got to escape. It's going to go boom. I guess that was a bomb in the building. Fuck it. Okay, now look. Real talk, I got that bomb threat being out there in Hunkville working in Southfield. That bomb threat came in, it was like, hey, it's a bomb in the building. All the motherfucking S and Ds I'm getting on blowing that bitch up tonight. I'm like, shit, what are these little motherfuckers? I ain't that nigga gonna follow one, two, and three. I'ma show you what I'm gonna do. This what I this what the fuck I did. <laughs> What, what, what time you get off work? That's cool. Sorry. It's cool. Oh, it's not time for me to clock out? Yeah, it's cool. I'm just going to lunch, hour lunch. Shit, fuck it. Love you guys. I never tell you guys. I love you guys. I love you guys. You know, get in my car. You know, just look one more time. It's just like, damn. Damn. And this motherfucking Grand Prix, the heat don't work. <sighs> Got a fucking giraffe. That's my police and detective. Oh, man. And when I pull the fuck off, I'm like, I'm rich, bitch! Ah! It might not be a bomb in that bitch. Y'all might think I'm a bitch-ass nigga. I told y'all, rip. I'm a bitch-ass nigga. If a bomb in the building, I'm not about to be one of them pieces of body that on the 10 o'clock news, they say, only thing left was an ear and a nose. And it was a brick, but we didn't know if that was, you know, something else. I don't want to be that person. Or I don't want to be that person they interview after they say, everyone died in this bitch, and you was supposed to be at work. Did you get the phone call? Did you blow up the building? That's a lot of ass. So I would never blow up my school building. But if it, all the pussy left, I would. I'd blow all three niggas that work their asses up. Because it's only three of them. Their asses is out of here. I'm A.I. So Heartless, nigga. Back to the basement. You can catch me on Facebook. I'm all so heartless. I got a few video feeds. If y'all haven't seen me, I got a few on there. I got some cartoons. I got some other shit. So just holla at your boy. All right. Hey. You don't have to go home, but you gotta get the hell out of here before yeah, this get my another nigga up in my family. He be in face. Like a mouse chasing the cheese. Everybody keep it up for the mouse. Don't hold it one time, y'all. I'm running with some old shady shit. You know what I mean? Take the everybody, money to you know, pose in the grill. You think it's just because you're ready to go home yet? Everybody just chilling, so we just be sticking around for a little while. And everybody say back to the base, man. Yeah, it's funny. I think it's a hit star. Get fired from your job. Now you got it. Y'all, 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 y'all
Things out of order. I'm